What's up everyone, Hippo TC here, and the update we have been waiting for is finally, finally here, and it is called The Fate of the Damned. There is so much in this update that we should just jump right into it, so let's do this. The latest update for Sea of Thieves is here, and it has brought some amazing things to us pirates. Let's first talk about the main event. During the Fate of the Damned, each week unlocks new challenges for crews to face off against what Rare is calling the surging threat from the Sea of the Damned. We will battle across the Sea of Thieves, and during these weekly challenges, we will also be able to take on the Slayer of Fate challenge. To help aid us pirates in tracking these activities, we can now check them all out in a new in-game quick menu events tab. With that being said, we are told that Lorena, or how I like to call her name, Lariana, because it just sounds a little bit, you know, just, it's, you know, let's just move on. Anyways, Lorena has been investigating the mysterious things that have been going on in the seas, and the Bildrat crew she sent to scour the seas equipped with the Flames of Fate have apparently gone missing. Who would have guessed it? Which is why she is asking you to find their last known whereabouts, share their flames, and uncover their stories. In other words, there's gonna be some new voyages that we get to pick up from her at the tavern. These new voyages will take us out each week into a new region of the Sea of Thieves. And as the patch notes mentioned that we need to be extra careful because apparently there's something that's being summoned out there by the dark rituals. Hashtag not a cult. All of this to say we are gonna be able to get the flames that we need to light the Fort of the Damned a little bit easier. And we're gonna see a lot more ritual skulls in the world, which means for all you Tuckers out there, it's time to get your Tuck on. Let's jump over to the Pirate Emporium. The Pirate Emporium is getting some pretty awesome looking cosmetics worth taking a look at. And I mean, come on, these look pretty freaking awesome. And skeleton pets are here and looking very scary too. So don't forget to pick them up before it's too late. There's also a few other added things to the Pirate Emporium like skeleton emotes, glowing face paint, a free lantern dance, and some other goodies. So jump over there, take a look. I promise you, you're gonna find something that you're gonna wanna spend money on because let's be honest, most of these cosmetics do look pretty freaking awesome. So definitely go check that out. Let's talk about some other gameplay improvements that we see in this update. Mysterious notes are being added to the game, which is a way for new pirates to learn about all of the adventures out there. These notes will help direct them to various activities across the Sea of Thieves. We also have that in-game event tracking like I mentioned earlier, but hey, it's worth mentioning again. Make sure to check out the events tab. The range of Flameheart has also been reduced. Can I just pause for a moment and all of us together as a community just thank Rare for that, okay? Because Flameheart is toxic, all right? I would be like a million miles away from him and he would start yelling at me. So th that has been reduced. And that, my friends, is worth celebrating. <laughs> okay, let's move on. On top of that, the Ashen Lords have been balanced a bit and now have reduced health. The skull is now worth more than double the gold. And when defeating a Lord, you are now guaranteed a chest of rage and a ritual skull as a reward, which is awesome. We needed something for this event to make it worth our while a little bit more. So I'm glad to see that they made that improvement. With everything that I've talked about, there is still a ton of things I haven't been able to cover. Subtle gameplay improvements and fixes to the game are in this update. Things like you can skip the video intro at the beginning of the game load in so you don't have to see that every time you load in it's optimized for the next xbox generation there's new accessibility options so if that's something that you need check them out there's definitely a few that are added that will help the improvement and the accessibility of this game and there's just a ton of fixes i mean it is worth reading the patch notes on your own time but with that being said i want to mention something that i've noticed with this update and with seeing all these game fixes and things like that that gives me honestly a lot of hope and that is rare is aware of the things that need to be fixed and they are working on it every subtle tweak and change that has been added in this update 
shows that they are out there and they're actively working on the bugs and making this game better and better and better and i'm thankful for that because let's be honest we all love this game we're all slightly addicted to being pirates on the sea of thieves so seeing these fixes just gives me encouragement saying that rare is here they know what's going on and yes they are fixing and working on hit reg so just hang in there everybody go sail the seas have some fun grab a grog and just go play the game have fun there's a lot in this update worth checking out what are you looking forward to most in this new update make sure to let me know in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button but hey if you loved it go ahead and smash that subscribe button thanks again for watching and i hope to see you guys out on the seas